What's going on guys? This is Empty Box. And this is our racing IndyCar from Watkins Glen, where we got a 27 lap race today, which will require a pit stop. We're starting fifth place at a track that's well, I'm not doing too well this week. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't really have that good of pace. Would like to be faster, but this is just a touch green, too fast for me. Green. This is like hyper speed and I'm um, yeah, it's crazy fast around here. You, you guys will uh, get a feel for it, I'm sure. Ice car is in. Green, green, green. Left side. Clear. Left side. I survived turn one, 2014. Clear on the left. Now here's where things get interesting. Bus stop. Okay. be really careful in that corner there because the rear end does have a tendency to want to slip out under acceleration. No reason to be too aggressive here on the first lap. First lap in the books. You're in fourth position. We'll uh, save our push to passes because there is a glitch that uh, you can get unlimited push to passes. And well, as you can see there, I got the 10 on the right side of the steering wheel. So I got 10 push to passes remaining. I didn't get the glitch. So we'll kind of need to be a little bit strategic. Like we should be, I think the glitch is pretty lame. In fact, somebody pointed out in my mid-Ohio video that I had the glitch and I could have used as many push passes as I wanted, but I still only used 10, because that's what you're supposed to do anyways. Honor system. Not that that really matters. Maybe I'm doing better here than I thought. Maybe it's just... I just don't have qualifying speed. I have to say this track is surprisingly... Well, not necessarily surprisingly fast, but... Woo! 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 <laughs> We're gonna turn that brake bias a little bit forward there. Uh, yeah. That's a little bit too far backwards. Like the rear end up and things stepped sideways on me and undies were nearly soiled. I just don't have the line through there or here which that's my favorite corner on the course even though I'm losing time and I know it but that's the only corner that you really get a break it's like everything is happening so fast it's like you want to know why I never drive the F1 cars because they're just too fast and this is borderline too fast but that really isn't necessarily all that strange seeing how this car does have the power output of a Formula One car with 
Probably more downforce than the uh, 2014 crop of F1 cars, if not very similar. Obviously the aerodynamics are nowhere near as efficient as a F1 car, but still, it's a lot of downforce. Keeping on. So we really seem to be pretty much exactly the same pace, except for our uh, adventure in turn one. So if we can keep in striking distance with pit stops in and there, obviously. be a good thing. Just focus on catching up this guy in front of us. I feel like once again this week, I'm better in the slow speed stuff than I am in the faster corners. Which is something that I had at mid-Ohio, obviously. Slow car ahead, go right. This is a bit of a different game than mid-Ohio, where here basically every corner is a high speed corner. As in mid-Ohio, you only have one corner where downforce is you know, fairly significant. So first and second place. Had some uh, issues there. I should change my gear ratio. Fourth gear is just a tick. Stick too short. So long as we can stay within distance, obviously with the pit stops, a good pit entry, pit exit. And now in third. In lap, out lap. All that strategy stuff. That'll be a bit of a factor. Of course, Watkins Glen doesn't necessarily have the most demanding uh, pit entry. Pit speed limit is 45 miles an hour which coming off of that final corner isn't necessarily the most difficult difficult thing to get down to or avoid because there's really not a lot of ways to lose a whole heap of time. That was absolutely terrible through the bus stop there. Off that corner. So we're staying even with them. That's really kind of better than I expected, to be honest. Like I said, I haven't really had very good pace here in the testing sessions I've done. 
And this race did split, so it's not like we're racing guys who you know, should be a couple of seconds slower or anything like that. This is equal competition. Keep losing massive amounts of time in the bus stop. I need to, I need to fix that. Should go without saying, right? I'm thinking this guy in front here of me directly, the guy in second place, he's about the same pace that I am, maybe a hair faster, and he seems to be maybe catching up the leader ever so, so slightly. My goodness, man, what is this, chat time? Drifting that wide there. Very poor. Exceptionally poor. Horrendous. Garbage. I just went ahead and used up a push to pass. Let's see what kind of a difference it makes in terms of the uh, speed. As we got mid Ohio, it didn't make much of a difference. Here, obviously, you have much longer straight. And the boost lasts pretty much entirely up the hill, which obviously going uphill, that boost is going to be pretty nice to have as well. Application coming out of the corner. Really go for these two guys to start battling. Slow one another up. Bring me even closer. getting ready to do some battle right there and oh <laughs> go by side by side through the bus stop and it, it's never never fast ever so speaking of which I'm pretty sure that's the fastest I've gone through the bus stop the whole race
go right. Oh! Oh! That was the, uh, at the time leader in the wall. Okay, you're in second. Still got nine push to passes. I think we're catching up with this guy. Which makes me wonder, I'm not sure, maybe he's having a little bit of tire degradation issues? Easy for me to say. His tire wear isn't huge. I'm not going to make it sound like it is, but... A lot of people were saying that the car just kind of turns to soap or you know, just not very nice after a couple laps, so... Maybe that's what he's having issues with. And maybe we've just kind of started to come back onto our pace even better. That corner is so much fun. <laughs> You just kind of break way early in that left-hander that goes over that little crest as the uh, the boot section rejoins the classic track. Go ahead and use another boost. We're in pretty good position with that. Uh, so I feel fairly safe in using a couple of those now. Cars just not turning in as nicely, which is the first thing you'll notice with this car when it comes to tires and and their wear. As the tires start to wear off a little bit, the car just doesn't turn in as crisply. Go ahead and make a front roll bar adjustment. We got enough speed to keep with this guy. It's a question of putting the laps together, finding uh, finding the speed to catch him down and then pass him. Which fortunately Watkins Glen isn't a extraordinarily difficult place to pass on, so. Second gear there, or first gear.
My brain is just like melting. This car is way too fast here for me to keep up. The funny thing is, it's only a couple of seconds slower than the uh, old Delora that uh, IndyCar used to run and actually ran here a couple times, so it's not like we're actually going like 50 seconds faster per lap or anything like that. It's just the car is fast and I'm not used to driving cars this fast. I'm thinking we're going to try and make a pit stop here. So we're going to use a push to pass. Hopefully he doesn't pit this lap. We get a lap of uh, fresher tires. A good out lap. So we're on good in lap, good out lap. So we can make up time. Nicely, and overdrive the next two corners. Okay, good pit entry, good pit entry. Go ahead and take 12, that should do it. So I'll be safe. Tires are all set to replace. Okay. I need to work on my stopping in the box. Okay, push to pass. an answer quite soon. Gonna be close. You gotta remember the pit exit here does shortcut turn one. Hello, buddy! On the boost. Car right. 
and drive by him like he's parked. Keep it up. Let's open that gap. Push now, you have to push now. Push now. <laughs> yes, that's my poor Formula One engineer impersonation. Which I don't even know why I went with Formula One. We're racing IndyCar for crying out loud, and we're racing at one of the greatest tracks in America. You got ten laps to go. You're in first. Keep it up, 28.45, that's a great lap. Great lap for me. I could think. Yep, that's my best lap of the race right there. Let's keep it up, no mistakes. No mistakes. So make a mistake. What do I care? What do I care? I like to just go ahead and prove that you don't have to listen to my instructions. Push the pass in reserve. We have a lead. We have a guy behind us who's been the exact same speed. Pretty much the whole race. We have less than 10 laps to go. I overdrove it there. going to be using push to pass. I know that. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we absolutely nail these sections. Does it? Really is deceptive though, turn one in this car because in many cars you can really just kind of smash it down there onto the uh, apex curbing. Whereas in this car, if you do that, you just, you just go boom.
Remember, he's on the button. He has the draft. So we don't necessarily need to be ultra super mega concerned with him catching up a little bit. Four there, exit turn one. Stop on the right, go left. <laughs> there for a second I was like, wait, which way's right? Which way's right? Oh my god. I have a line, like I said, this car is just so fast. Slap by, we'll have enough push to pass that we can use one every lap. Oh, 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 I just put it in the grass. You've got five left to go. Give me that push to pass. Give me that boost. Make sure you wind it out, use all those extra revs. Fast and break hard enough.
That's was a lot closer to the middle of the track there. Relax. Relax. Here's the boost. Would like to save one. Oh, we have one in the bank. It's maybe used for that short burst between that uphill left hander and then the uh, left right at the end of the track because I think we're better than him in that section. Which if I can have a push the pass in the boot in the bank, just in case. Save it this lap. A fairly decent run there coming out of turn one, so save it while you got the chance. You got about five laps of fuel left. You found some speed. You got two laps to go. Left side. Keep to the right. Still there. Clear on the left, car on your left. Clear. Oh no, you didn't. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. What am I doing? Go to use a push to pass here. White flag, one more left to go. The next car's the leader. Use another one. Pick a line. 
Clear on the right. Right side. Clear on the right. Power down. He's around. He just lost control there. Power down. Nice and safe. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you won! Thing right now. Yeah! Fantastic racing there, Christian. <laughs> that was fantastic. I When he passed me in the bus stop like that, not that that was a dirty move or anything like that, I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, I am not losing this race. Not like this. Not with two laps to go. I'm not having any of it. You must have been out of push to pass on that last lap there, huh? Oh! Well then apparently he's Scott Dixon's long lost German cousin. Going faster, save and feel. But you know what that means? Somebody made a request in one of my videos. I don't remember which video it was, but I don't often get to oblige this request. So you know what we're going to do. You know what we're going to do. Hopefully not fail. Hopefully not fail. Oh man, that was intense. Very surprised I had that sort of speed, or at least that sort of uh, tactic. But man, fantastic result. Fantastic result. I will take that very much so. So, with that said. Yeah! My donut rating is probably like a 2 of 10. Ha ha ha! Even smacked it in the wall. Even smacked it in the wall. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Not gonna lie, but... Uh... And now I cut away from the live commentary in favor of a post-race debrief because there really wasn't a lot of carnage to report, which is actually a good thing. Just a couple of single car spins not worth tracking down uh, in the replay and putting in the video but anyways uh yeah i think there was a major difference in my uh attitude <laughs> within this race from the start where we we're kind of unsure and really not all that uh, confident to the end where uh well three laps from the end i should say where i was feeling very confident and and felt uh pretty good about the way things were going um you know first stint keep the car clean don't make trouble don't get into trouble you know, just keep on keeping on, gain more confidence, find more speed out there on the track, which is something that I needed to find. Um, and then those three laps, the money laps, the in lap, uh, your pit entry, your pit exit, your out lap, and then that first flying lap. Those are the money laps right there. And we gained uh, two seconds, three seconds, somewhere thereabouts. Uh, just within those handful of laps by pitting beforehand, so we got under fresher tires before he did, uh, which enabled us to go faster. We uh, were uh, able to leapfrog during the stops, and you know even though he has fresher tires by one lap, you know he's not going to be able to do anything because the fact that I leapfrogged him, which means that now his pace is now dictated by me, even if he is faster. So. I think we did a very good job at that point in my out lap, or excuse me, my, my first flying lap was actually the fastest lap of the race, which, um, you know, converting at that stage, converting those money laps into gold, baby. 
But um, we did a good job with that lap, which gave us a bit of a gap, so that way he couldn't get a draft or as good of a draft. Which you know, Watkins Glen, as soon as someone starts to get within a couple of you know tenths, they get that bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger draft, where eventually they just rocket right on by you. Uh, so I kind of expected to end up getting passed or end up getting caught up, but uh, you know that move in the bus stop that he made that was a pretty good pass from my line on the inside there. I mean, I have no other option other than going relatively straight through the bus stop. From his line on the outside, he has no other option than going relatively wide. So, you know, through the first left-hander, I probably pinched across his nose a little bit tighter than he would have liked. And then in between the two chicanes, basically, uh, tied together, he kind of pushes me wide uh, with the way things work out from that position. But... Uh, very good job from both of us, I feel, to uh, make sure we didn't end up a smoldering heap. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't too happy about that, uh, largely because nobody ever wants to lose the lead of the race with two laps to go, or I should say a lap and a half to go. But uh, we almost failed, we almost blew it, but then fortunately I had a push-to-pass saved, which is kind of one of those race strategy things which you just kind of have to learn, you kind of have to know, and realize the potential there ahead of time you know because obviously if we burned a push to pass early on in the race you know for no reason at all it could have really screwed us but you know we we got a good run going down the straightaway because we we're on push to pass and then going into turn one uh, i think that's probably actually my first my fastest first sector time the whole race i'm guessing um and going up the hill with a push to pass with a bit of draft pretty much absolutely nailed turn one Big draft, big speed, simplest pass of the race right there. Uh, and He almost ran me over there in the bus stop uh, as he was carrying more speed, but we uh, didn't have too much of an issue, no drama, and uh, that was pretty much that. It was satisfying, I must say. So hope you guys find this video as satisfying to watch as it was to actually race in myself and um, hope you guys enjoyed. I right, bye.